let that sit. Oh wow, when did that happen? We, I broke off a finger. When did that happen? Oh wow. I must have hit it somewhere. Did I smack it? Well. That's the thing with resin. They are usually super clean brakes. They are easily fixable. So we're going to rough up that surface fix it immediately before we kind of forget or something rough it up a little bit just gently otherwise the parts will not fit together anymore Wow, I just broke off a finger. I was talking about blooper reels. But I'm gonna guarantee you. Come on. You're not gonna see it. Come on. It's a hand. Come on, focus. There we go. If you... Now I can't even see where it broke. I mean, by looking at the super glue. It's here. But that's because there's super glue there, so. Otherwise, I would not even have seen it. Uh, uh. Alright, fix that mistake. Be careful, it's going to be a, a weak spot for a little bit. we go that's the upper body that's snug enough this is snug enough yeah that's excellent I'll be careful with those hands don't want to break any more fingers all right so those were the arms and we have a backpack here Let's uh, do the backpack while we're at it. Oh, that's slippery. <laughs> that's the hole in the backpack. Got to stop me up, 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 me up. That's a little bit too much. Take 
a little bit less. There we go. I was wondering when, when that was going to happen. Had to happen sometime. You pull out the sticky stuff. That has probably been used too many times. So it lost its stickiness. And there's like drilling dust mixed into the sticky stuff. Which makes it less sticky as well. today That's too long. Oh, wow. It's not. Alright, that's the backpack. What more do we have for the body? I think we're gonna try out. This is super solid. Let's let's put it to the test. Let's see what happens when we put it together. And we have a lot of pieces to go still, but most of the major stuff we've drilled. So I drilled the base. I glued the legs in the upper body because otherwise Oh yeah, that body needs to be pinned definitely. Otherwise it's going to just fall over like that. There's really just one way. Now I 
am going to probably make the same mistake as before. Is I want to use a bigger, bigger stick. And I still have one. That's good. Or maybe I should use this. I'm gonna use this. So, what I'm gonna do... Last time, when I tried to drill the body, the, the drill got stuck in there and broke off. I had to drill out the, uh, the broken off drill bit kind of fixed it up wasn't really like a huge problem but it was a problem nonetheless so i want to prevent that and in order to prevent that i am going to go real small and then work my way up to the correct size and go bigger and bigger just to make sure that I don't get stuck in there again and mess up another drill bit, having to fix it. Now, the resin so far has been really, really drillable, so, so to say. It's been really uh, behaving well. <laughs> As you can see, I, the thicker the resin, the hot, hotter it gets, or I don't know why that is. Um, yeah, just take my time, work my way up. go a little bit bigger I want to go a little bit deeper. Hmm. Oh, you try to. Always look the other way. I want to use this one as like in between. This is a little bit too big. I think this is the correct size.
I think this is the correct size. This one. Yeah, this is enough area to hold on to. I'm going to be careful. Oh wow, I have to go even bigger. All right. Okay, now we need to be careful that we're not gonna get stuck. scary part I probably should have done this right from the beginning it would have been a lot easier without the legs attached but it's something that think about right now and not when I start so I'm such an idiot sometimes you know just not thinking fully ahead I think ahead but then skip something or just forget about something and it's just didn't think it through all the way but you know it's, it's not something that's a major major issue it just would would have made things so much easier if I just did it before I glued the legs but the drilling would have been a lot easier Standing really good. What? No imprint. Again, that key is not hitting the bottom of that keyhole. Again, another reason why you just need to pin these. Like honestly, otherwise you're you're gonna have to use epoxy resin to fill to kind of make to reform uh, the keyhole. Because if, if you're using magnets, you really need two surfaces that, that hit each other with the magnets uh, buried into the, into the surface. And then on the other, other side, exactly the same, so that when the, the two pieces meet, the magnets are just solid against each other. 
if there's space in between the magnets, like because this key is not hitting the bottom of that keyhole, uh, you're gonna have like a space, and that's that space is gonna cause your parts not to, you know, 100% connect, and that creates weak spots. That creates uh, a place where uh, parts can hang on on other parts. If this, if I would not be pinning this, the body would uh, tilt that way, and it would start. To hang on this part and at some point if you're unlucky that the gravity is gonna get hold of that and just break this off and then the entire stage is gonna fall that's what's gonna happen when you magnetize this part and uh, the key and the, the bottom of the keyhole are not connected unless you, you reshape the entire keyhole with epoxy resin, you make sure you, you fill up a little bit of epoxy resin in there. Uh, then you kind of uh, put some um, Vaseline or something like that. You put it on the key and then you reshape it by pressing it in like that. And then the, you let you let it sit until the epoxy resin is dry. Then you can, because of the Vaseline, the, the epoxy resin cannot get hold of this. You can get it out and you have... A, like a reshaped kind of fixed up keyhole but then again that's a lot of work when pinning is a like a faster option I would say okay let's see if we get an imprint no Oh, there we go. That's a big, big... I'm gonna do... the beginning of this. Now I do hope it didn't walk. I think it walked. Yeah, it started walking. I'm gonna do it again. That sucks. Now I might just go smaller again and go bigger and bigger and bigger every time. But then you have a chance that you're not 100% lined up. But we'll see. And the drill bit started to walk, so I might want to get something really sharp like this and then poke a hole in the middle. And I'll hopefully create enough of a hole that the drill can catch on to that. Oh, damn it. So, just like that. Yeah, the drill walked. That's not good. That's because the resin is slippery. It's smooth. And the drill bit does not have a point on it. So you can't really, you know, push it in. It grabs on. I really need to get, yeah, I can probably get a better grip with this one. I have an imprint. See if I can get the middle of that. Okay, I gave it a little bit of play. It's 
not that far in. think yeah the keyhole is in the wrong place oh we kind of fucked that up um what I can do I am going to reform that hole we're gonna fix that. See the drill bit slipped. And by me by thinking come on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that hole in a very unconventional way. But it'll make sense when you see it happen in front of your eyes. You're gonna fill that up with all that drill dust. Now, as you can see, it's becoming a paste. It's because the um, the drill, the drilled resin residue sort of thing, is melting, and it creates like this paste, this um, this sort of cement, and it's become it's gonna become super super hard um, I do not do not have access to um, epoxy resin I think my wife has some but that's for her hobby stuff so you're gonna just fill that up with this much smaller Make sure you leave out the big pieces and you're just gonna push it in now you can see it melting kind of right before your eyes put some kind of messy yeah when I mean, you learn something along the way when you're when you've been doing this hobby for a long time you learn all these neat little tricks see it becomes this gooey stuff put some super glue on there let it Now you could use like a uh, baby powder, which I've used in my other uh, builds. Um, but this raw kind of drill drilling residue from the resin is just way stronger. Gonna stamp it in.
the camera is out of focus. As you can see, it's leveled. It's become this like really solid kind of paste. We're just gonna let that. get absorbed slowly Make sure it's leveled. I think it's leveled. <laughs> yeah, I was worried about that slipping. I didn't check it thoroughly enough, I would say didn't check it correctly the way I should have but another trick in the book you can see it's become this paste right now it's become it's gonna become super solid when I leave this up for like an hour or something it's gonna be super solid. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. All right, so I just realized I was streaming with my mic muted. So, all right, so to recap, uh, so um, decided to wait until this hole was completely dry we fill that up with super glue and resin residue to fix that hole but i want that uh, dried enough so that i can re-drill re the hole and for now we're just kind of working on the upper body uh, where I've discovered like a another issue that I need to fix oh I can go either way hmm that's interesting but the problem is is these shoulder pads are separate so they they key into the the shoulders and then he has these large shoulder pads but for this shoulder this key is way bigger than the keyhole so it, if you can see there is a huge gap and in order to fix that, I have to shave off like a quarter of the, the key. Which is a major pain in the ass because it's super hard resin. Uh, I, I wonder where, where that went wrong. If that were like a casting issue if mine only has this issue if other people had the issue i'm kind of looking at reference photos of the raw sculpt and yeah that's pretty big so this goes here these fit perfectly by the way 
Man, that sucks. <laughs> that really fucking sucks. That's big, man. You're gonna... If you're not gonna fix this, you're gonna definitely 100% see it. And... Yeah. So I got a shave off like a, a quarter of that peg or that key. Oh man. Yeah, if you compare, that is, that's pretty big. That's a lot. I will have to use like, um, I'll have to use like a, um, what's it called? Like a Dremel. Uh, I have one of those Dremel saws that you can use that it's like a circular thing, uh, acts like a saw. That is the fastest way to do it. You can't cut it. Uh, if I, if I would use this, for example, I would shatter the entire key. It would break. That's not an option. So I'll have to Dremel uh dremel it off when using the, like the the saw the circular saw type thing i don't know exactly the name of it but and then hope that the top bit of that key is perfectly sized it, it kind of doesn't look like it it looks like that keyhole is also uh that that the top bit is too big for the top bit of the the keyhole if that makes sense so i'm gonna have to also dremel dremel a lot away from the key to make it fit that is a bummer that is really a bummer and i'm i do not fancy doing that on a live stream because it's a lot of noise it's really loud uh, it creates a lot of dust. Um, it's just a pain in the ass to do it on stream. So I'll have to fix that off stream and then continue once I've done that. That That is a bummer. Let's see if we can... No, these these fit perfect to the to the lower body. Uh, probably just gonna glue them, or I could pin them with really small pins. <laughs> now the gun is beautiful. There's no doubt. It's. Not to complain about the sculpt or Naren's work at all. It's just it just really sucks that you have to do So this gun uh looking at Naren's reference photos he put this piece on this shoulder pad and then this gun so I think I'm gonna go with what Naren uh, used in his reference photos I mean, it's a big gun by the way for the scale so this goes here Uh, like that, obviously. That is perfect. I'll try and... I'm uh, sending messages back and forth with Andrew Mann, who's also an excellent Predator painter. He sent me photos of his. Uh, he said he ha also had like a small issue with the so it's I'm not the only one 
at least. It's comforting to know. <laughs> So he said that looks wrong the wrong way but that's impossible because if I would turn them around like that the backpack is just in the way it's just way too close to his dread it's going against his dread dreads and then there's a huge gap so there's no way that that is wrong it, they have to go like this this also Naren's own reference photos reference it with this point which is different than that all the way to the front so from the reference photos you can clearly see that this is in the back because this flows a lot better with the rest of his his body So these are also not, uh, you, you, they couldn't, uh, you cannot r misplace these. For example, if you give someone uh, the exact, the, ex the, the, the same, uh, you give them two left shoulder pads, for example, because the, the front is different than the back. So it's clearly like these points need to be in the front and then the raised point like that needs to be in the back. Also, like the the slids or the area where the the guns go are supposed to be in the back. But yeah, um, it's a setback. It's gonna slow us down. It's gonna slow me down. Um, not unfixable it's just something that I did not expect to run into especially with an Aaron sculpt uh, that's a huge oversight if you ask me that is freaking huge man yeah compared to like if you look at his kind of his shoulder that that's the that's the area I have to shave off basically so it should be going all the way down man and that sucks that sucks I think I'm just gonna um, is it wise to start working on the mandibles now mm. no it goes like this no it does not it goes like that mm, no what this is the bottom one No, it's supposed to go like that. Yeah, it's supposed to go like this. Needs some seam line filling. Damn, that looks nice. That looks nice. Now, look, look at the face of this predator and then look at my logo does not does that does that not like resemble my logo and the logo was custom made for me so way way before this uh this sculpt was made so that's kind of funny i really like that I like that de detail Heavy duty nail file. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Andrew is saying uh, he used a, a heavy duty nail file to file this down. 
but my my key is just way too big to to do that with a nail file. That's way too much material to do with a nail file. So I'm just gonna Dremel it, and I can only do that off stream. And my here's another key issue where I'm either gonna have to. Yeah, so this does not go all the way down. Oh, there we go. A little bit of sanding on the mandibles and that'll fix itself. Now we do need to go in with some clay or some multi-putty to fix those seam lines. Those will not be a real issue. You will not see it. want to go any deeper yeah I was thinking about that I used the wrong size drill bit I need to use this one So here, here's the thing, right? A lot of people just want to see painting videos. They want to see painting, painting, painting. How do you do skin? How do you do this? How do you do that? People forget that painting is the last step in your entire process. You know, aside from gluing on, you know, small, small parts and, and stuff like that. But, you know, painting really is like the last step. And before I can even start painting, I really need to do this. And this takes a lot of hours to get it perfect. To fix all these tiny little things, seam lines, mistakes. I have to shorten the key. Uh, I have to, you know, fix a broken finger like we, sh we showed earlier. I have to glue the mandibles and then uh wait for like 24 hours before i can do anything with them because i want to make sure that the glue that i use is absolutely 100 percent hardened so a lot of people forget that in order to start painting i need to have like a completely built model and that takes a lot of hours and if i would you know start streaming and just start painting it will take a lot more time before I can even start streaming. Because I, I don't have anything to to stream, basically. And I just want to show people that even though it's time consuming, it really is worth it to, to build these models and... To take your time and get it perfect. <laughs> so I. These 
this hole and this hole meet up at some point. That is funny. So I need to, before I connect Before I uh, just uh, jam this in, That's perfect. Wait, come on. Is it empty? Damn. That's one. One down. Get another one. <laughs> 